Hey everybody, it's Infinite Dice. It's been quite a while since um, I've made a video. I've been on holidays for the holidays, <laughs> for the summer. Um, but I want to get back into doing some stuff uh, slowly. I'm not going to jump right in and, uh, you know, uh, wear myself out. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get, uh, you know, a little bit of work done. Now I have increased the speed limit on the carrier for landings. Uh, set to, uh, no, no good. Uh, it's been set higher, um, because people are saying that they need a faster landing, uh, speed. As you can see down there on the carrier, we have, um, I have two aircraft just like this one already landed. Uh, what I'm featuring in this video is the naval aircraft landing gear, which are going to be released as part of the ICE pack. Um, why ICE? Uh, as I said on the thread, um, because I had shelved uh, the naval aircraft parts uh, due to lack of time, you know, of falling out of interest, whatever, whatever the, the reason was, um, I uh, moved some of that wheel code into ICE uh, for the ICE-powered wheels, and I don't feel like I should like I want to split the code and try to release some wheel code here and some wheel code there. I'm just going to keep it all together. If you want to have these aircraft wheels, but you don't want uh, any of the other ice stuff, then I just suggest you download it and delete the other parts you don't want loading. And that way, you're not wasting uh, you're not wasting you know your valuable uh, you know uh, sizes that you have limits for. Oops. This is This, this aircraft is very tipsy-turvy. Um, if you don't land it right the right way, the bounce on the on the landing will uh, kind of result in your plane being damaged a little bit here. So what I can do now is just show you what I want to show you, and that is the... Um, before, parking your aircraft used to be a pain in the butt, and uh, now it's a lot less of a pain in the butt. I'm going to shut that jet engine down. Uh, as you can see, you can go forward, backward. The nose gear has a motor. Um, the rear gear are very wide and bouncy. They kind of will take up a lot of the impact of your landing. You can change the damping. So if you want to damp a little bit more on these, um, they will be less prone to bouncing around, which is probably a good setting to have when you're landing on a carrier. Now, if I want to park this, I can simply just park this anywhere I want. Right? Brakes. Oh, God. No! Oh, shoot. Okay, so these two aircraft have been already docked. So what I want to do is I want to de- you know, I want to, I want to undock one of them. I just simply select it by the front, right-click the front uh, gear, and hit, uh, it's important that you do this, hit disarm, and then release. And there it is. Switch to the aircraft. Not the one in the water. Switch to the aircraft. And now we can drive around 
and all this other, you know, good stuff. Back it up a little bit, hit the brakes, and then you can simply click arm, and it doesn't connect, does it? Now if it doesn't connect, one thing you can try is adjusting the park distance slider like this and there you go. So um, another thing to remember is when it sometimes when it does connect you're gonna see this is a good example that um, the wheels are now embedded a little bit into the car into the ground. You can chance it sometimes when it releases it will bounce the plane up if it's clipping a little bit if it's clipping a lot um, it could explode. So what I suggest is, if you get a situation where it is docked, but it is docked incorrectly like this, you can see the other aircraft. When I docked them the first time, they docked fine. They're sitting right on top. The you know the actual suspensions are still working and everything beautifully. This one, for some reason, I had to adjust the slider, and when I did that, it didn't like it so much. So um, if I adjust the slider back up, I'm not sure what's going to work. But if I bring up the gears, it's going to bring the gears up on all the planes. So um, th there's no way around that, really, unless you want to right-click the gears and operate them uh, manually. So if I drop the gears again, you're going to see that they, 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 they catch, but then they pop out. So what I suggest you do is you right-click the gear when it's down, you bring the gear up, and then you just click disarm and release. That'll drop the plane onto the deck. It shouldn't hurt anything. Then switch to the plane. Once you switch to the plane, you're gonna have to click the landing gear button probably twice to get them to come up. And you're on the deck. And you're fine. And this one doesn't end well. Here I am on the final approach, and uh, I actually make it this time. Now the trick was, uh, you know, uh, getting it, uh, landing it right at the end, and uh, having the right uh, proper brake balance and setup. And by chance, it just manages to dock automatically uh, at the very end there. Now, at this point, I lost my audio on my uh, my headset, so I have to narrate this afterwards. But um, after landing uh, with the aircraft, I backed it into a position where I thought it would be a you know good place to park it. And um, following the procedures uh, I outlined before, I simply put the brake on, right-click the front gear and um, it wasn't connecting so what I did was I tried moving it a little bit and putting the brake back on and right clicking the gear again and then I adjusted the slider up a bit and ta-da it connected. That pretty much um, covers everything that I wanted to go over uh, so uh, again I, I'll let everybody know once this is available um, there's going to be updates for the boat parts pack as well as uh, for ice and which will include the wheels have a good night guys thanks for watching